Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of the Academy Answers. I think this is episode number three. So we're going good and we're really solving issues and addressing issues and um, thanks for listening. Uh, thanks to those who give me their feedback. Thanks for the questions. I've been getting questions um, for years. I've answered them personally, uh, most of them and some of them now I want to some of the older ones and also new ones that comes in every day I want to to kind of answer them in this in this fashion so it can be of benefit to not only the people who answer them but uh, who ask but um, to other people who might be you know facing the same challenges who might have the same concern who might want to know or get some insights uh, on, 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 on similar subjects so you know uh, I'm not this genius or this especially blessed person who who come up with these things out of nowhere. Most of these things are from experiences. A lot of it is from learning from others, from you know my virtual men mentors, my you know the, the, the work that I've done into understanding and going deep into 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 the area of personal development, success, and productivity. And that that aspect of our lives, um, and it's not magic. It's just art. It's not talent. It's just me deciding that this is important and this is my calling. This is what I was m meant to do, and I just get up and do it every day, consistently. I throw my life at it. I am. I believe in in my path I, I I believe I was created to do this I didn't choose it it chose me um, it is it is a fire that burns in me and um, look just like the people who have helped you before who your teachers they went into years of study um, coupled with their personality and their experiences and were able to bring you to you know um, value content that helped you out here in the world um they, they just like the doctor they went out there and um they do the work they studied they learn they practice and they are able to help you so it is just about me serving in this capacity as your motivator as your teacher in whatever business motivation life just sharing with you what i've learned what i've been through and also pulling from you your experiences what you've been through because i know that we're all human beings have these traits all human beings have things and a lot of things in common they suffer from the same type of emotional issues um uh, the feeling of of lack of self-confidence um the caring loving feeling of betrayal the feeling of of um of you know wanting to be accepted just those things are common in most human beings so that's what i'm here for i am not speaking at you i'm speaking with you and to you i i value your feedback and i don't think that i'm much i'm any better than anyone else we all have our problems all of our issues and when i speak to you when i give you advice i'm giving my own self advice i learn from it all so these things come to me in the shower eh, from a book um from my experiences and and i all kind of put those together and process it and because i'm interested in it and that's a big word because i'm interested in finding the answers then they come because that's what the brain does you have you ever been thinking about something and you're like no i can't figure it out and you're there and you know you're back and forth you left it for a while and then you know you you wake up in the morning and it's on your mind and then you say okay fine you left it for a while and you know you can't bother something else interrupt you you couldn't come up with it with a with solution and then you you went to the shower took a shower you took the kids to school whatever you do have your breakfast and then you're driving you came up to the stoplight or you pulled into the parking lot or you just driving straight on the highway on minor roads and bam the idea came to you so that's how the brain worked it was simmering in the background so once you injected it into your your conscious thought the subconscious mind take a hold of it somehow and start to 
process bring other things into the picture and into the process and finally comes up with an answer without you even having it in in at the center of your awareness at that particular point in time and i just touched the other word awareness so my reader asks what is one of the uncommon things that successful people uh, hardly talk about what is that thing that you don't hear them talking about i know it is there's discipline there's passion there is commitment there's persistence what is one thing that you would advise that i look into if on my journey i'm, I'm on the spot i'm doing this thing i'm working at it and one of my big thing is awareness you know and that's awareness self-awareness and awareness of your environment you have to understand how things work you have to understand how the mind work how how human beings behave how things are set up around you and the systems because everything you see out here that works that gets you that um, also support you that work for you that don't work for you that seem to be against you that seem to be with you is a system there's a certain method and way of doing things for example we talk about personal finance and my first ebook was about personal finance I, I am passionate about the subject I'm passionate about motivation personal development personal finance relationships and music those are my deep passion when it comes on to topic and subject areas. I really care about those stuff. I will talk all day, all night, 50 years about those stuff. So when I was doing this ebook on personal development, I was trying to explain to one of my, one of the person who purchased the book and I was giving them some additional coaching, so to speak. And I said to them, like, look, when you sign up for example, for a, a credit card, or a higher purchase agreement there is a system that tells the merchant the, the, the retailers the business owners that 86 percent between 86 and 90 percent of those who take this thing on a delay pay on a pay in six months and you get the cash price or if you don't pay in six months it goes into a high purchase agreement and I get 25% 30% um, interest on this thing there they know from research based on years of doing it they've plotted the graph they have um, calculated the stuff they have mapped out the tables they know that 86% of those who take that pay me the cash price in six months will not pay the cash price in six months. The credit card companies know that 80% of those who take the credit card will run over the limit and it will, it will pay not the full balance at the end of the month. So they have calculated, they know how much money they're gonna take, make. The only work they have is to get that card in your hands after that the mats will do the rest of the work so it is awareness like these it is that level of awareness that will help you in your personal fitness it's awareness of how the mind work of how discipline work for example it is a well-known fact research tested proven that your willpower is stronger in the mornings when you wake up than it is in the evenings after you have made so many decisions it's it gets weaker so you are less likely to probably go to the gym to probably read the book to do something that is important that you set aside for the evening that's why they say the first 90 minutes the first two hours of your day is the most effective and powerful you can lay your foundation there so it is awareness of how your environment work how your mind work how people think what is happening around you that is one of the greatest one of the least talk about but most powerful thing for your success if you know how these things happen they say knowledge is power yes it is power some people say it's potential power but when you know you actually 
are better able to process these things. If you know that failures will come, if you know from history and all these other things that has happened over the years that you're likely to be um, bumped, there be bumps in the road, you're likely to slip up, you're likely to mess up, because such is the path to success. When you hit these roadblocks, you will have a different type of thinking. You will know that, okay, yes, this usually happened, this is supposed to happen. It will help you to hold a better and a stronger mindset to push through. So awareness is my thing. Many people will have different things, but I know that awareness, self-awareness and awareness of your environment is really powerful for your success. Thank you for, for listening to this podcast. And as always, I'll try to bring you value and I'm here for you. You can text me, email me, um, and reach out to me anytime. I don't have any opening and closing hours. That is my purpose. Happy to serve, delighted to serve. Thank you. Have a good day.